It's almost like therapy. Actually, that was my first job. You were a therapist? Yeah, yeah. Now you give card readings. Yeah. That is so cool. Guys, I messed up. I just woke up. I almost missed the uh, Skype meeting with the psychic. I stayed up last night working on a song. Way too late. Uh, she emailed me twice. You know what? I might want to go, uh, get a shirt, huh? Why am I filming this? Oh, crap. I only wear this when I have no clean shirts. So I sort of look like I just rolled out of bed all the time. So that, I have that going for me. That's in my favor right now. This is what I'm filming on. And that's what I'm Skyping on. And this is what I'm vlogging on. Okay, guys, so I am here on Skype with Whiskey Daniels. A lot of you have seen her in the live stream chats. Hi. <laughs> and she has a Facebook page called Curious Cards. Oh, Pro thank you. Yeah, she didn't really want to promote her business, but I think it's important. I think it's great when people have their own business. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description to her page if you would like to pay for a reading. Thank you for doing this reading with me, by the way, Whiskey. Oh, it's, it's not a problem. So first card. Knight of Chalices or the Knight of Cups. That's a cool card. Yeah, it is. Um, I should probably say I have a huge amount of decks and you've chosen the Gothic deck. So all of the artwork on this is going to be pretty like... Yes. Well, lights in the way. Yeah. I was excited to see what the artwork looked like on that deck. Majority of this reading was about how your worldview on things is that you're not very important in the grand scheme of things and what is important is like caring for others that's where the sort of challenges you're important too and you were sort of like yeah i know but let me just help this person real quick so like focused more outwardly yeah on i guess outsiders like people not in the here where i live who i live with yeah that makes sense. I mean, I, I do social media for a living, so I'm always doing yeah. things for people that I don't even see. That's this accurate. Is just one of those examples. Moving on to the second card, the Six oh. of Pentacles. Nice. How did you find the, the description there? The reason for my challenges is because I have a need to promote the welfare of others out of kindness and give whatever I have to people who I think need it. But in doing this, I neglect my own welfare because I put others before myself, basically. Yeah. How did, how did you find that? I think that's, that's how I've lived most of my life. And I'm sort of coming out yeah. of that. If I have something and somebody else needs it, I can't then just sit there and have that thing and not at least share it with them. Mm -hmm, for sure. I think having a son two years ago, having a kid changed my whole view of the world and so now yeah. it is more like okay no 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 i i do have to take care of myself because i'm taking care of a baby you know like yeah financially energy wise it's much easier to say no to people and things now because it's like dude i just think of him and it's like he comes before anything that has been the the biggest thing helping the transition i think but yeah that is my that is definitely my tendency though it's okay to sort of help others sometimes we do it so much that we tend to forget about ourselves and we don't even realize that we've forgotten about ourselves right okay into the third card we got the seven of wands here that's cool oh do the wands look like flowers in that deck yeah that's so, oh um, that is cool i never thought about that if you'd like to describe what i wrote there i tend to help others more in recent times because i'm having more success and the more i gain the more i give um which can lead to lack and challenges in love because I give more than I should it causes stress. I'm trying to summarize. Yeah. With the stress, when someone you love is in like distress or pain, it kind of puts it kind of reflects back onto you. It makes you sad that they're sad. It makes you stressed because you can't fix what they're stressing about. It's mainly up here. That makes any sense? This makes perfect sense. But there's always going to be that internal worry. That's exactly right. Because I'm always doing so much. One of your passions is that you're a very creative person. Right. You're not really living unless you're doing something. <laughs> right. I was just going to say, it's not like I'm like giving away all our money and we're, but it is like, yeah, I am creative and I do it for a living. Finding the balance, it, it is stressful sometimes because it's balancing having a baby, you know, while like yeah. being loud and yelling into a microphone and laughing. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't mesh very well i did see the other day i think you might have like laughed or something a bit too loud and it woke the baby up. yeah yep <laughs> exactly exactly right i think that stresses me out more than anyone yeah. it bothers me because i'm always like oh, i can't be too loud but then on the other hand i'm like but i am loud this is what i do so it definitely stresses me out yeah yeah just just the fact that i'm an i'm a nuisance the yeah. fact that i wake up my own kid by working yeah stresses and then, me and out and then on top of that like you feel bad and really guilty yeah yeah because it's not his fault <laughs> so the fourth card we had the four of pentacles which is a little bit different to the six in okay. design 
So this is the four, obviously. That card had to come up now because now you're starting to think about those things that you put on hold or all those unfulfilled hopes. Oh, I see. That's okay. In a tarot reading, the oh. things that come up are the things that are like significant and applicable now. So when that card comes up, to me, that's saying that's something that you're bringing forward now. Okay. So you're like all the things that went undone, that's sort of going around in your head now because it's like you want to start doing those things. Like my album that I took two years, that, okay. Yeah, that... it's more like you're saying, I wish I would have done things differently. Time to start doing that. Mm, gotcha. And then lastly, we had what I call the conscious and subconscious. And this is the part oh, cool. that tends to scare people the most. So this is the two cards that sort of have that question of what's going on in your head right now. All right. Uh, so with the first card, we have the five of chalices in reverse. First reverse card of the, the, the evening, I should say. Oh, it's reversed. What does that mean? Yeah, that's actually a very positive card when it's in reverse. Like a lot of people see reverse cards and they're like, oh no. But when that card is upright, it talks about how things are just a little bit loopy and crazy at the moment in a negative way. Whereas okay. this one is more like love and light and all that jazz. That's the card where it was saying, despite all of the stuff I listed in the reading. That I'm still hopeful um as far as friendships and old friends and stuff but i'm very much okay to walk away from people if they don't want to kind of straighten out yeah clarity i feel a lot of clarity these days despite all the the way they've treated you in the past and the way you were in the past the way you treated yourself you're still you still have a hopeful outlook for times ahead yes even always. even in this time for sure you've got nothing to do but take things day by day does that make sense yeah, yeah, it does make sense. But in regards to these people, you kind of have a, okay, you treated me bad. I wish you the best without me. But if you ever need a friend, I'm here. As long as you straighten out. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not too worried about it either way. I feel like back in the day, you used to have this whole thing of going out of your way to make sure people stayed in your life. Mm. And now if they want to go, it's kind of like, okay. Yeah, man, that's a big change too. Yeah, big step. <laughs> yeah. So lastly, we had the star in reverse. Okay. I'll let you. Sure. So you told me that in the back of my mind, my subconscious, I am thinking about all the money I wasted and lost on on people who uh, who not who basically were not what I thought they were. I keep those thoughts in my subconscious, the back of my mind, because it's not really about the money. I just feel cheated and hurt, so that's why I push it back. Yeah, I think that's about right. You know, it's not really about the money for sure so what does that mean that i push it back so when you push something to the back of your mind there's a few ways you could take it so the first way is eh, i don't really want to bother with that so just push it to the back of my mind or if you're like i don't want to think about that but it kind of keeps creeping forward so i'm just going to force it to the back of my mind the mind is sort of like a hallway with multiple doors and there's this stuff that you kind of allow to hang out in the hallway with you but then there's stuff that you're like eh, that's not important right now i'll shove that in that closet that's not important right now that will go in the cupboard compartmentalizing your thoughts a lot of people don't realize that they push things to the back of their mind thoughts that you don't want to focus on so it doesn't necessarily mean i've dealt with it it just means i'm avoiding the issue well not necessarily avoiding the issue some for some people it's definitely a thing of avoiding the issue but for you personally i think it's more of like that's a negative thought so i'm gonna keep it in the back of my head because oh, it's I how i really feel but because it's a negative thought i'm not gonna Ooh. focus on it for too long because i'm not Does i don't want to express it i don't want to express negative thoughts yeah so i just bury them and it's not necessarily a negative thing to push something back there it's just from this reading i can tell you're a person who believes in like love and light like if it ain't positive just throw it out because i've got too much going on <laughs> right <laughs> so when something like that creeps into your mind those are the kind of thoughts that you're like okay maybe i'll just put that in a drawer and i'll look at it tomorrow or when i'm in bed and nobody is around like right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let it bleed out and ruin the rest of my life <laughs> Yeah, those gotcha. are the kind of thoughts that you let out when you're alone. Does that make sense? Yes. And it's not even that you're a private person. It's just that you don't want those thoughts to impact the people you love. 
Definitely. So did you have any questions about like tarot reading or the email? Yeah, no, I think you you did a really good job at explaining everything. So thank you for that. You're welcome. So wait, people can pay for a card reading on your Facebook page. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Do you do Skype readings like this with everyone or is it normally just send an yeah, email so reading? There's multiple different ways to do it. I'm not really bothered about how it's done. A lot of the times people are quite intimidated by like tarot readers and psychics and maybe like scared. But they're curious and that's kind of where i come in that's why i'm called curious cards it makes people not so nervous so yeah if, if you're curious just hit me up <laughs> that make that makes a lot of sense actually this has been fun thank you so much for doing this no problem thank you for having me no problem bye okay so that was my reading from whiskey daniels that was really cool like i said there's a link in the description to her page if you would like to pay for a reading and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching bye